Hi everybody, my name is Eleanor McDonald. I am an e-learning project manager in the College of Business in University College Dublin. Today, myself and my colleague, Dr. Jamie O'Neill, will be talking to you about this wonderful piece of education technology standing in front of me, which is the Lightboard. In 2019, we received funding for the Lightboard after a successful application to the Learning Enhancements Projects funded by the Higher Education Authority of Ireland and the National Forum for Teaching and Learning in Ireland as well. I approached my colleague, Dr. Jamie O'Neill, to co-author the funding call with me. Jamie is an assistant professor in accountancy and has always been keen to use innovative technologies in his modules. So he saw and understood the potential of the Lightboard straight away. The purchasing of the Lightboard for the College of Business proved to be pretty timely because in February, 2020, what came along? COVID. At the beginning of the academic year in 2021, we encouraged some of our academic staff to use the Lightboard as a way to increase engagement in their online classes. The range of modules that utilize the Lightboard went from small postgraduate offerings to very large undergraduate modules of 500 students plus. For our academic staff who use the Lightboard, the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. The Lightboard remained in our recording studio and our staff delivered their online classes from here. A member of the business e-learning team was always on hand to assist staff in case there was any issues. Thankfully, very few issues arose. The team also made sure that the recording studio was walk-in ready. So our academic colleagues literally arrived and delivered. At the end of the module runs, our academic staff gathered feedback from students in order to assess their experience of the Lightboard. The feedback, once again, was overwhelmingly positive. However, as this feedback was gathered informally, i.e. being verbally asked how they felt the experience was, it's hard to really take too much away from the student feedback in this case. Also, we must remember that this was a very different set of circumstances for our students. And it will be really interesting to see how the light board is viewed once we return to normality. One thing the students did say though, that was out of their long sequence of online modules, the light board offered them something different, diverse and engaging. As I mentioned, the Lightboard certainly worked as a tool for online class delivery. And now, as we move towards a more normal mode of delivery coming into the academic year 21-22, we have to think about what's next for the Lightboard. We will be aiming to move it into the classroom. Also, our original envisaged idea of usage, which was the recording of content for asynchronous delivery, still has yet to come really to fruition with only a handful of our academics using it in that way. So we will be promoting its use for recording of lecture content and delivery in this way. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. If you have any questions for myself, for Jamie, please let us know. We'll be delighted to answer anything about the Lightboard.